That's cool. Shopping together, admiring pretty things, or adoring pink scarves and fashions. To some, it's simply female bonding, but it's not the fondness of pretty things that draw these ladies together. In fact, they're complete strangers, but these delightful scarves and the deep understanding that these ladies share are all tied to one diagnosis. My mother, um, three years ago, was diagnosed with breast cancer and had um, went through treatment and had a bilateral mastectomy and but is doing wonderful now and is cancer free. As a daughter who watched her mom battle breast cancer, Cindy can relate to Nicole Harrington, whose mom's fight has just begun. She doesn't ever go to the doctor and she got blood poisoning, which went up her arm and like over towards her boobs. So they were checking that out. And then they were like, oh, well, we see a lump. We're gonna have it sent in to check it out. Nicole Harrington's mom, Irene Jensen, was diagnosed with breast cancer before Thanksgiving this past year. She kind of like came in my room and she's like, well, um, I think I have breast cancer. I'm like, oh, whatever. You don't have breast cancer. And she's like, well, I really do. And she showed me and I was like, oh, that's not normal. And the scarf Cindy Bell is buying today will help Nicole's mom with the medical expenses she has incurred from her fight with breast cancer. Nicole was planning to make the scarves for a front brand owned by Randy Myers. But when Randy learned of Nicole's situation, he said, like, this is what we need to do. Um, just scrap the scarf idea for a front my brand and he came up with the idea of infinity scarves made for one purpose to inspire for her a message that randy can relate to as well as several others who are involved with the cause this is my grandma she she passed away from breast cancer about a, a decade ago people that are no longer here like they can still you know inspire you my mom actually had to go in and get a biopsy um, it turned out just to be a cyst, but my grandma has had breast cancer and my other grandma. Oh, and then when this happened, it's kind of like, wait, what? Like, that's my mom. And it's just, I don't really know. Like, I guess it just kind of hit me. Like, my mom's not going to be there forever. So hopefully she's proud. The handmade scarves are being sold at Haystacks in downtown Traverse City, and all of the money will go toward her mom's medical expenses. She's falling behind in, like, bills and debt and just... I don't know. I don't know how she does it as a single parent because you look at her and it's like, how do you manage your money? But somehow she does it with four of us kids and we still eat. We still have a place to live. In just a few days, the girls raised $260 to pay for their mom's wig. But she already picked out which one she liked because it had all the matching hair, like it had gray in it and it had a blonde in it and then it was a brown wig. Though her mom was fearful when she first found out, Nicole said doctors are confident she will beat the cancer because fortunately they caught it early. She's got people that, you know, are, are really pulling for her. You know, it's just really nice. Like, I didn't think it would be a big deal and everyone really wants to help. Even my mom's 65th birthday is coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. so yeah. I'm trying to think.